Hi, this is Michael Fisher for SavingAndInvesting.com and welcome to the illustrated compounding example. And in this example we're going to look at a compounding as it takes place uh, in a very simple case over a number of years assuming uh, a 5% return. In a previous video we looked at what compounding is generically, i.e. Earning, earning a return on a sum of money and letting the sum of money that we have grow by each of the returns that we earn in each year. And as the sum of money that we um, have grows with each return, then the return will grow in each, each year as these returns are added on. So to illustrate all of this, we're going to look at a quick example. And we're going to look at this in a case where we have a, a sum of money that we're starting with, which is $100 or 100 euros or 100 pounds or 100 rupees or remimbi, 100, and we're going to earn a return of 5% on that in each year. And we're going to earn a 5% of that return on that in year one. A return of 5% um, on 100 uh, is going to give us a, a return of 5 in year one. So that 100 starting amount earns a return of 5%, which is 5. And at the end of year one, we end up with 100 plus the return that we earned, which is 105. Now in year two, we're going to start with, uh, in year one, we started with 100, which is the very beginning of it all, earned a return of 5%, which is 5, and ended the year one with 105. In year two, we're going to start the year with 105, and again, earn a return of 5% during the year, which means during year two, we're going to earn 5% on 105, which is 5.25. And we can see already that the amount, the return, the absolute number of the return in year two is slightly higher than the return we earned in year one. So at the end of year two, we end up with 105 plus the return earned during the year, um, which is 5.25, giving us a new sum at the end of year two of 110.25. So the sum grew slightly more quickly in year two we can continue on into year three. Again, in year three, we're going to earn a return of 5% on the sum that we start the year with, which in this case is 110.25. So we're going to earn 5% on 110.25, which in this case is 5.51. And we, we started the year with, we started year three with 110.25, we earned a return of 5.51, so we're going to finish the year with 110.25 plus 5.51, which is 115.76. So basically we can see, again in year three, the amount grows by the 5%, but the amount of the return has gone up in each year, um, as we've earned that return on a larger and larger beginning of year sum. And we can continue this, follow this example through, uh, through for 20 years we're going to do it in this case. So we're going to earn 5% on the amount that we start the year with for each of 20 years. And when we do that, we can see that the amount that we earn is obviously growing. And we saw that already as we did it through to year 3. In year 4 the return would be 5.79, in year 5 6.08, and the, return, and the sum, the total that we have at the end of each year, is growing faster and faster and faster as the return of 5% is being earned on a larger beginning of year sum, giving a bigger return. So each year the amount that, we, that the sum grows by is getting larger and larger. And in fact, in year 20, our amount has, is growing by 12.63 in the 20th year. Um, and finishes at the end of year 20 being 265 spot 33. So in year one we earned a return of 5 and in year 20 we return, earned a return of 12.63. So we can really see how the amount that we earn each year is growing faster and faster. And that's really the basic principle of compounding. That not only will money grow with the return but as we leave those returns in place and add them to the existing sum that we have the amounts grow faster and faster and faster as we can see in this chart where we can see that the 100 over 20 years is not growing in a straight line effectively it's actually growing faster and faster and faster and if it were to continue growing it would grow up faster and faster in absolute amounts continuing on 
clearly from this we can see that the amount that we gain in year 20 of 12.63, we wouldn't have gotten that if we hadn't had all the smaller returns in the previous years added to the amount that we started with. So it makes a case for starting early and letting those returns compound, i.e. be added to the amount that we have, creating larger and larger returns each year. And you, we can do this example using any number of different assumptions, including changing the starting amount, um, changing the return that we earn each year. But for this simple example, we've kept the return that we earn each year constant, i.e. it's an average amount that we earn each year of 5%. In, in real life, it might be more, it might be less, but we've assumed a 5% average per year here. To illustrate how leaving the money in place and compounding for a long period of time lets money grow faster and faster as returns are added to the existing sum and subsequent returns are larger based on a larger starting sum in each year. Thank you.